I was actually just looking for a job, um, and this one said for Alice Grimm that you only needed like beginner AutoCAD experience, and then I heard it was paid also, which is a big plus, yeah. Washington County senior Kylie Morgan learned AutoCAD, that's computer-aided design, in school. So in this project, now she eyes a career in engineering. And this is a uh, brass. So too, senior Alan Yang. Couple? No. He works at Dixon Valve, the He's largest manufacturer in Kent County. Side. They supervise what I do, make sure I don't goof up anything like crashing machines. Uh, they show me how things are done, and um, they show you how each process goes to another process to make the final product. Ricky, that Subaru is for you over there. Right. And at Dynamic Auto in Frederick County. Raise it up and go ahead and get the right rear wheel right, off of it. Right. Take a look at the brakes and the alternators on the front. Ricky Chantier earns and learns. I want to be a master tech. Morgan, Yang, and Chantier all enjoy the benefits of the Apprenticeship Maryland program. Yeah, when I first started working out, I was doing school and then I would go and further my education at work, so getting hands-on experience at an actual shop. Since graduating Brunswick High, Chantier took the next step, joined the adult registered apprentice program. And talking to Dwayne, you know, he was like, do you want to join this program? It's a great program. He talked to me about it, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? As a registered apprentice, Chantier qualifies for college money, takes courses at night. My job pays for it all. Um, so this is the layout of a Burger King. As youth apprentices in school, Open up your door. all the students get trained, pick up skills, and get paid. Check, checking the brakes, make sure everything looks all right. Businesses mentor them every step of the way, hoping to groom and grow employees for the future. In each of our high schools, we have a work-based learning coordinator. So if a kid's interested in one of the positions that open, uh, they contact the coordinator in their building and they do a simple one-page application, a resume and a cover letter. They get an evaluation from a teacher that's had them in a course, and that's all submitted. Jeremy Brown says the employers register with the state and post the jobs with the schools. Brown and Christine Pearl piloted the program in Frederick County in 2016. They emphasize Apprenticeship Maryland opens the door to businesses well beyond the trades. We have positions in IT, uh, security, media services, marketing. Um, we had one business that was looking to train and get an apprentice in social media. In our first year, we had a young man working with Frederick Memorial Hospital. He is still an employee with them. He's full-time working with them. Apprenticeship Maryland is a great way, particularly now while we have so many workforce shortages, for our local industry folks to partner together with the public school system to really help collaboratively to prepare our students for careers, which ultimately is a win-win for everyone. We taught her the basics. At LS Grimm Consulting, mentor Tom Hoffman coaches engineering candidate Morgan. We got her to start cleaning up backgrounds. Um, she was a big help in PDFing drawings to send them out to clients. <laughs> Having her do those for me allowed me to work on something else. This symbol is a W-2, mm -hmm. and the one beside it is going to be a T-38. Hoffman found Morgan a quick study with blueprints and Perfect. plans. Any questions with that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's in a field that I wanted to pursue. So as a first job, instead of just working like retail or something and getting that like customer service skill, I can get like engineering skills and people skills and like cooperation skills all in one area, which is pretty cool. The main thing you're going to do is clean your jaws up. Yep. Right? Put this in. Close it. Close the door. Machinist Tony Wicks at Dixon Valve trains Yang. Well, I kind of started off with like engineering as being like a broad topic and then I want to do like, um, I want to design stuff. It's really interesting. It's really cool. It, it was logical to me working with the schools to start looking at uh, finding a way to um, feed potential employees into the system. Dixon's Dan Lassard says he works with the state, the Department of Labor, and through the schools to pipeline employees to the company. To come in and get a really good paying job with a good company with good benefits and then remain in the area. Okay, now we get that. If we can do that, uh, that'll help you know rebuild the schools, help rebuild the community in the smallest county in, in the state. The Maryland Apprenticeship Program has actually filled in all our entry level positions. We have actually have a waiting list for applicants. Uh, for years, we, we struggled to find help. Community College of Baltimore County. So I'll leave work about four o'clock and get there from six to about nine o'clock and then I do that maybe three to four times a week. Chantier started with Dynamic. He wants to stay with them now. Myers is building a new shop in Newmarket. Ricky's gonna be a part of that growth. Without him, we wouldn't have a reason for a bigger shop because we need people like him to actually 
open it and grow it. I didn't really know about cars at all. Employees find an interest, sometimes a career. And if they don't, they don't waste college dollars finding out. Employers find employees. So I was like, I'll just try it out and I started loving it. So. The businesses provide mentors and help with related instruction. Instead of doing like extra classes your senior year, you could do this instead. And employers agree to 450 hours of paid work-based training. I thread it in. The program is open to juniors it's and seniors 16 and older. So we put the jobs out there and we help kids kind of find uh, that place. Great place to be. And then uh, my dad and grandpa work here. It's overall really good. It has like a good place to be. Yeah. Your dad's looking over your shoulder. Uh. <laughs> At Dixon Valve, Dynamic Auto, L.S. Grimm, Maryland apprentices join the workforce and decide from there. Don't really know what the future holds yet. Uh, hopefully something in engineering though.